Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread. I have two more fall kits left to use. I have this week and then the following week, which is Thanksgiving week. So for this week, which is November 18th through November 24th, I have this kit from DEK Designs slash Plan to Be Fab. I'm not quite sure why her shop has two names. I think one of them is an Etsy shop and the other is like a standalone, but for some reason they're two different names and and um, this kit is super cute. I just love all the little animals that are on here. And also it is in a rose gold foil. So on this page, um, we have the full boxes and this one says, hello pumpkin. And this one says, hello autumn in like a little photo frame. We have some flags, some headers, heart icons, a movie marquee, a laundry sticker, and a balloon. Here we have all the headers and the little things. And unfortunately, um, it's like printed and cut a little bit off. And so the text is closer towards the bottom of the header instead of like centered. Um, so that's something that I noticed. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi and date covers, and then a couple pieces of deco. Here we have the full box checklist. We have these little bows, and then we also have some check flags. And the last page here has some half boxes, some pattern boxes, sidebar trackers, weekend banner, and then I don't quite know what these are. They're like little cutout circles. I guess I could write the dates on here for the date dots, but I don't quite know exactly what they're for. So I'll have to kind of explore that. Um, I did want to mention that I have heard from a lot of people that um, sometimes her stickers aren't really cut all the way through. So I may have to pull in my scissors to help cut. Um, I'll definitely update you guys about that that as I go along and if I notice anything with it. So yeah, without further ado, I wanna start by placing down the bottom washi. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will let you guys know how I proceed. As always, I start by whiting out part of the bottom washi um, so that I can create a space between the bottom of the day and where the bottom washi begins. And then for this kit, the bottom washi was separated into two different strips, which I actually thought was a really great idea because if you're using this kit in a planner that doesn't have as much bottom washi space, you can just use one of the strips instead of both. Moving to my sidebar, I first placed down a full box at the top and I chose the one that says Hello Pumpkin because it's so cute and it's probably one of my favorites. And then I put down the habit tracker to track my working out. I initially used this little thing sticker and as you can see, the foiled asterisk was definitely cut off at the bottom because um, of the way that it was printed. And then I placed down a bow checklist that I intended to use to mark my happy moments. Um, underneath that, I placed down a Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners for the week. And then I decided to switch up my habit tracker for this week because I decided I wanted to bring in some of that darker blue into the sidebar. So I used the foiled header that came in the kit and then that habit tracker was from my leftover stash. For the bottom of the sidebar, I decided to white out the calendar and place down some deco pieces from the kit to fill up that space. And I just love that little hedgehog. I think he is so adorable. Um, for this week, I decided to forego the date covers um, because of the way that they were printed. I don't know if you can see it well, but um, again, it was so close to the bottom and it was kind of cut off. So I just didn't really like how they looked. So I just decided not to use them for this spread um, and I just moved straight to Monday. First, I started by placing down a foiled header at the top. I used a quarter box from the kit with this rose gold foiled coffee from Hazel sticker to mark that I got a coffee that morning. I got my favorite pumpkin cream cold brew, which they discussed continued like way too early. I was so upset. Um, but anyways, I also got a sandwich at Starbucks that morning. Um, so I used this little toast sticker from Happy Daya stickers to mark that. I then placed down one of those large pattern strips that came in the kit. And on top of that, I used a rose gold foiled um, sticky note sticker that's from Hazel sticker. And initially I pulled in this pencil sticker from Little Star Plans, but I decided to switch it out for this pen instead. And that was sent to me by a YouTube subscriber, Kiara, who is so sweet. I don't think she has a shop yet, but if I hear of anything different, I'll definitely let you guys know. I think that pen is so cute. Um, on the sticky note, I just marked a meeting I had that morning and then I go ahead and place down a full box at the bottom. I move back to the middle section and I wanted to mark that I went to happy hour with some of my coworkers that evening. Um, so I placed down this flag sticker and the happy hour text sticker is from Paper and Milk. I did have to trim down the flag a little bit because it was too long and I wanted to include this beer sticker from Hazel sticker. And um, yeah, eventually I was able to make everything fit and I really like how that turned out. In the remaining space, I placed down this quarter box and I just marked that I edited a plan with me when I got home that night. 
Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the top. Um, there were three darker colored full boxes in the kit, so I decided to space them out. Um, so the first one I decided to use on Tuesday. Um, then I put down a foiled header from the kit with this half box. Um, I used the half box to mark a morning meeting that I had. And then I found this little flag sticker from The Giving Girl. Initially, I wanted to mark that um, these students at my school left for science camp that day, um, but I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted, so I whited that out and changed it to marking my lunch for the day instead because I went and grabbed a delicious lunch off campus. I then put down this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then we had an IEP meeting, which are meetings that we hold for students in special education. So to mark that, I used this foiled flag from the kit and I just wrote IEP inside the flag. At the bottom, I put down this three bow checklist to mark some things that I did when I got home that evening. I did actually get home from work pretty late that day, um, so I used this sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark how I felt about that situation. Moving on to Wednesday, I first placed down a quarter box at the top and I used this rain sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we got our first rain of the season on Wednesday. It was actually really exciting um, because we were just kind of ready for some cooler weather. I did have an appointment in the morning, so I used another gold foiled sticky note from Hazel Sticker, and this time I paired it with a diamond top pen from Little Star Plans. I then created a box by putting together three little things and I just covered up the foiled part that I didn't need with an IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark another IEP meeting I had that day and then I put down a full box underneath that. I then used a foiled header with a sticker from The Giving Girl to mark that we went to Costco that evening because we had to pick up some things. And at the end of the night, I baked some cookies. I've been on a cookie baking binge recently. So I put down this little whisk from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. It was the first time I got to use anything from that baking sheet and it was very exciting finally getting to use it. On Thursday, I first placed down a half box at the top to mark that I had a meeting that morning. It was for all the psychologists that I work with in the district. And then underneath that, I used a foiled header and I just wrote to do over that to create my own little header. I then used a three bow checklist to mark some things I did that day. And I did grab some Thai food for lunch. So I pulled in this takeout sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that. In the afternoon, I had another IEP meeting, so I used another one of these stickers from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that. And then I used another one of those large flags from the kit. I think I did have to trim it down just a little bit. Um, and I also used this stressed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that again, I got home really late on that day. I placed down a full box at the bottom and I had just a sliver of space so I put down a little things in that remaining space. Um, I didn't like how the asterisk was cut off at the bottom um, but there wasn't really anything I could do about it so I just decided to leave it and hope that it wasn't that noticeable. I then decided to change what I had put down on Wednesday um, because at the bottom of Thursday, I used that dark blue full box. I decided I didn't want um, that part of Wednesday to also have that dark navy blue color. So I switched it out for that lighter um, gray color instead. Moving to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the top and this one is definitely my favorite with the cute little hedgehog. He is just adorable. I cannot handle him. And then underneath that, I put down a foiled header with a flag sticker from the kit. And on top of the flag, I used a foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got my usual Friday coffee that morning. I then put down this little thing that didn't have anything on it and I used a remember script sticker from Rose Color Days um, to create my own header and I pulled in this three bow check flag from the kit to mark some things that I got done on that day. I did have to go from one school to the other um, so in the middle I grabbed some Burger King for lunch and that fry sticker is from Paper and Milk. After work that day, I went and got happy hour with a couple of my friends because um, we all work at schools and we were celebrating that it was Thanksgiving break, which is so exciting. That beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then at the end of the night, I did bake more cookies because we were doing a Friendsgiving the next day and I wanted to bring some cookies. That adorable baking sticker is from Moji Kiji. For the weekend, initially I put down a couple foiled headers at the top and um, was going to layer this weekend banner on top of it. However, I realized that the weekend banner for this week was quite large and I didn't want to run out of space to mark all the things I wanted to. And so I decided to forego the weekend banner for this week.
Instead, at the top of Saturday, I placed down this half box, which I found in my leftover stash, and then I pulled in this Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that it was officially Thanksgiving break. I did have the entire week off the following week, which was really nice, and underneath that, I put down a flag sticker and a sleep-in pillow from Toffee Bananas. I think she changed her shop name, and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but I'll definitely make a note of that in the description box below. I then put down a full box underneath that, and then I wanted to mark a few things that I did that day, so I decided to put it on this checkbox. Um, one of the things was we grabbed some boba, so I put down that boba sticker from Plans with Finesse. I then decided to switch the placement of the boxes, um, I think because I wanted the full box to be a little bit lower, and so I moved the bow checklist up a little bit, and then I also put down this utensil sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I made Brussels sprouts for our Friendsgiving feast. I then replaced the full box underneath that, and then at the very bottom, I just had a sliver of space left, so I trimmed down a half box for it to fit in that space and pulled in this um, heart sticker that came with the kit to mark our Friendsgiving that we did with our group of friends. It was definitely such a good time getting together with them, and we had like way too much food, but I feel like that's just how it goes. On Sunday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top, and then I used a three bow checklist to mark some things that I got done that morning. Um, it was a pretty lazy day. We did run a few errands, but overall we had a fairly lazy day. Um, I used this grocery sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark that we got some stuff at Trader Joe's, and then I placed down a full box underneath that. I then pulled in this Cozy Girl sticker from Fox and Pip to mark our lazy night. Um, we pretty much just sat on the couch and watched TV and called it a night. And it was just absolutely lovely not having any obligations. Um, it was actually my mom's birthday that night, and so I did give her a call. I used a flag sticker with this unicorn cupcake. I think that's from my spoiled planner. It's so adorable. And then at the very bottom, I decided to pull in a quarter box, but I had like a ton of extra space. And so um, I ended up deciding to use some of the headers that I didn't use from the kit because they were cut a little bit wonky. Um, I was able to place one at the top and at the bottom and create a little border for my quarter box. I hope that makes sense um, looking at what I did, but it actually worked out pretty well. And I pulled in this Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I had some dino nugs as a very late night snack and it was amazing. I then go back to my sidebar and fill out all my happy moments and my dinners. I didn't do any workouts this week. It's been a really rough year for workouts. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. And then I move on to doing a Viv Wiggle so you guys can see some of the foiling that is in this spread. Now I'm just doing a quick pan of this spread so you guys can see it kind of in a different angle and just see all the beautiful foiling that is in this kit. And yeah, that is it for today's spread. Um, to be quite honest, I actually didn't have any problems with the way that the stickers were cut in this kit, so that was awesome, but um, I do feel like it wasn't as cohesive as I wanted. I don't quite know why and I can't really put my finger on it, but um, overall I just feel like it wasn't as cohesive and um, it just wasn't quite my favorite spread. Although now I'm looking at it and I like it a lot better in the photo than I did in person. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Um, I got to pull in a lot of different stickers that I haven't really used before or haven't used in a long time. So that's always really fun. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching as always. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.